Hello, I'm Phil Svitek, 360 Creative Coach, and in this episode, I want to kind of give you some advice, but also, it's also partly reflection. And what I mean by this is, when I look at uh, filmmaking right now in the current state of the pandemic and so forth, I really wonder what it's going to look like for indie filmmakers, right? People with low budgets. And part of the reason why I think about this is from a selfish perspective, because I have aspirations of making more movies down the line. So how, how do I do that, uh, you know, in a way that isn't going to be, you know, where I don't have to wait uh, five years or something like that? I don't know. Like, who, who, who can predict all of this? So, you know, one of the things that I've been thinking about uh, goes back to something that I've thought about in the past, which is audio dramas. So uh, audio dramas are, you know, kind of the old school radio style stories that have all the various sound effects and voice actors and so forth. And in fact, they're making a comeback uh, via podcast. And I've, I've highlighted them very cursory, you know, through my social media as far as like, for example, Marvel is doing two amazing ones. They've done two seasons of Wolverine and they just did a season called Marvels, which is about like the Fantastic Four. Um, there's also Deadly Manor, which stars like Kristen Bell, um, and it's like it's a murder mystery. Um, my friend Richard Wentworth has the Hadr Hadron Gospel Hour, which is about like a kooky scientist um, and kind of uh, you know saving the world, and it's 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 like it, it's a uh, it's sci-fi, but it's kooky is the best way I can kind of describe it. And, you know, I'm, I'm always on the lookout for a good audio drama. And I, and I think, you know, I encourage, like, if you're a filmmaker and are kind of work, trying to figure out, okay, what, how do I now in this current world take my idea? Because, like, let's say, you know, as an indie filmmaker, like, how the hell do you shoot a crowd? I don't know. Not really. I mean, you know, uh, certainly like big budget movies can like CGI in a crowd and things like that. But as in indie filmmakers, like that, that's going to just add way more to the budget. So instead, if you kind of reshift your idea and, you know, maybe, you know, it, maybe there's an idea and things like that that you can then take and make into an audio drama. And what's kind of cool is perhaps that way it gains you know, a fan base and so forth. And eventually that rolls up, let's say into a Patreon so you can kind of keep it going for, you know, for multiple seasons, something like that. Or, uh, you know, you can do, uh, you know, an Indiegogo type of campaign and, you know, get the funds eventually down the line. You know, maybe let's say a year from now when, when like filmmaking fully returns to normal, whatever that might mean, right? I mean, that, that's the biggest question of all. Like, what the hell does normal, and when do, when do we return back to normal um, even mean? But, you know, let's just, let's just say, like, in, in the next year, you know, your audio drama does well, and then, you know, you, you get the funds to, people want to see this in movie form. So that's an added benefit. I don't know. Like, I just, I just really see a resurgence of audio dramas, and right now, it, it, if you're a filmmaker, if you're a writer and things like that, like it's, a, I think uh, it's a great way to utilize resources because A, you don't, you don't have to be in the same room. You, you can do it over like Zencaster uh, and, you know, have somebody record themselves and so forth. So like, and yeah, and, and, and you can without, I, I mean, obviously there's going to be a lot some, there's going to be effort, right? You can, you know, there's going to be some money involved, but at the same time, you can actually make up, you know, minimize that money by putting in, you know, the effort yourself in like, um, in terms of like editing it yourself, engineering it yourself, writing it yourself, like whatever the case may be, right? Like all the, all the bells and whistles of everything that, you know, goes into these things that like for Marvel, you know, like Marvel, um, you know, they, they do their own, they have a guy doing sound effects, they have a mixer and so forth, right? So all these various roles are paid positions. But if you kind of take on that responsibly for yourself and create your own sound effects and, you know, uh, record yourself, mix yourself and so forth, then, um, you know, it's effort, but it becomes cheaper, right? Uh, 
and and this I don't know because I think it's a medium that um, is sometimes overlooked. I'm like trying to make a big push for it, but I do also think from a creative standpoint, this is a great way to utilize your creativity and work with some amazing people rather than, yeah, um, you know, like, it, it, and this is specifically for filmmakers because, you know, you still get to work with actors. Um, and even though it doesn't necessarily have the visual component of it, uh, you still have to understand, you know, how, this is a great way to really up like how sound effects really drive and tell your story and set from scene to scene. Also how your dialogue plays. Um, and yeah, like, I, I don't know. It, it just, I think it, it hones a certain muscle that isn't always exercised as much because I don't know. I, I think most filmmakers think more in visual terms than, than audio terms. Um, but I think, I think there's a lot to be gained there. Uh, both from from a again a skill set perspective, but also in terms of where we are and, and, and guarding our fan base and so forth. So I, I can't say enough of good things about this. And you know, uh, it's something that as time continues, you know, this might be the way. Like I'm writing a second feature, and you know, depending on how things go, this is how I might actually make it. It might just become an audio drama instead. I don't know. We'll see. But um, but in a way, that kind of excites me because I think that, that could be cool. Um, so, yeah. You know, um, I, think th I think that's something that's worth exploring. Um, anyway, that's, that's what I have for you. Um, if you have any questions or thoughts of your own, especially if you have... Uh, suggestions for good audio dramas that exist that I haven't mentioned. I would love that because, as I said, I am always on the lookout for a good audio drama. Um, thank you so much. I appreciate you. I hope this is inspiring. If you are a filmmaker and are looking for continued ways to be creative in what might seem like a restricting time, if you feel like this would benefit someone that you know, by all means, share it with them. And if, uh, if you appreciate what I'm saying, um, but aren't yet subscribed, I would encourage you to subscribe so that way you get all the various lessons that I post when I post them. Anyway, I've rambled enough. Thank you for taking the time to tune in. I hope to see you next time.